Hey everybody, welcome back to Jack's Meat Shack. Today on the channel, we're cooking this awesome boneless beef rib from the Badass Beef Company. Normally gonna see beef ribs with a bone attached. They're called Jacob's Ladder, or they might even be called beef short ribs. Perfect for low and slow, gorgeous meat, get it to around 93 degrees Celsius and it will fall apart a bit like brisket. So today we're gonna to use this boneless beef rib to make a wicked chili con carne. And with the leftovers, if there is any, I'm gonna make chili dogs. So we're gonna make a dish that's gonna last us throughout the week, plenty of leftovers so we don't waste nothing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. The preparation of the beef is gonna be really, really easy. They've already pre-butchered it for us. And to be honest, there's not a lot of fat or silver skin to remove. So all we're gonna do is cover it with some of our cowboy coffee rub and get it into the smoker. Couple of hours, low and slow, until it takes on loads and loads of smoke. Then we're gonna wrap it in some tin foil, a little bit of moisture, maybe some beer in there, maybe a little bit of coffee just to enhance those flavors, and then wait till it reaches 93, 93 degrees Celsius before we pull it off, let it rest, and then shred it apart for our chili con carne. So, let's prepare the beef. We're back. As I promised, super simple to prepare. Literally, we're gonna put a light covering of rapeseed oil over the beef, hit it with our rub, both sides, and then we're gonna get it into the Traeger. Traeger's set at 105 degrees Celsius, and we've engaged super smoke mode, so it's gonna be extra smoky. So let's do this. Try and maintain the one hand clean, one hand dirty method. So we're gonna put the oil on with this hand, give it a rub. And then just a light coating of our coffee rub. It's got some really nice flavors that complement beef, cumin, chipotle, salt, pepper. And then all we're gonna do is flip it over and repeat. Don't forget the edges. This is similar texture to a brisket flat, flat part of the brisket. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. A little bit more for luck. And then we're just gonna let these flavors get to know each other. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so our Traeger is done preheating 105 degrees Celsius, so it's time to get the beef in. And we're gonna monitor the temperature with our probe. So, we'll see that in a bit. For the third time, as the phone's been off for three takes now. <clears throat> so, our boneless Jacob's Ladder or beef ribs in the Traeger, it's reached 70 degrees Celsius. We've taken it out, we've wrapped it in some tin foil. This is gonna help push through the stall. The stall is basically where the meat starts to sweat and doesn't increase in internal temperature anymore. So to help it along, wrap it in foil, get it back in the Traeger. We've even increased the dial to 135 degrees Celsius. Now, it's time to make our chili. Now, you can make your chili, put it in the Traeger and let it cook in there, but 
why waste your pellets? I'm not being funny, it's gonna go in a cast iron pan. It's not gonna make any difference inside the Traeger to the flavor because cast iron pan, smoke doesn't penetrate. So yeah, I'm not gonna pull your pants down and say, oh yeah, it'll flavor it. No, it won't, it won't. So all we're gonna do, simple chili con carne, two onions, finely diced, sweat them down to the soft, couple of tablespoons of our Jack's Meat Shack meat dust, which is predominantly flavored like a chili con carne mixture is, cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, chipotle chilies, two tins of tomatoes. For our stock, we're gonna use this, can't even pronounce it, achicote, possibly. Don't speak Spanish. All the ingredients are in Spanish, so I don't know what it actually does. But doing a quick Google, it's basically like a Mexican stock. So we're gonna use that. And my secret ingredient for an awesome chili. I know a lot of people do, you know, bean-free chilies and all that, like Texas chili. Nah, not in this house, mate. We like butter beans. So basically, these are large gabonzo beans in water. So we're gonna put these in our chili and they're gonna take on all that smoke, all that chili flavor, and gonna make big fat like baked beans. They're gonna be the bollocks. So let's take you inside and make our chili because in a minute, I think the heavens are gonna open. Okay, we're back inside and we're gonna make our chili con carne. So what I've done is finely diced two onions and we're just gonna get them into a cast iron pan. It's, I've got it really, really hot and then basically I turn it down to the lowest setting because you wanna be kind to your onions. This is a good tip. I don't know who told me this, but someone said, if you're kind to your onions when you're making a stew, curry, chili, anything like that, it will pay you dividends because basically the softer they are, the, the more flavor they take on now, the better your finished product will be. So we're gonna get our onions into our cast iron pan, sweat them down until they become translucent, then we're gonna hit them with some of our meat dust. So let's do it. And I change my mind yet again, we're gonna finish the chili in a slow cooker. So into our slow cooker is gonna go two tins of chopped tomatoes. And now we're gonna add half of our block of, I'm gonna go with atrocyte paste. Yeah, that's what it's called. I mean, it smells amazing. It smells like, if you've ever been to a Indian restaurant and had their lime pickle, it smells a little bit like that. So we're gonna put that in. And then we're gonna add a whole tin of butter beans and the water. Then it's just gonna be a case of waiting for our onions to brown and become translucent, and then they're gonna go in the pot as well. So as you can see now, our onions have started to become translucent. This means they are susceptible to have some flavor added to them. So what we're gonna do is put a big heat teaspoon of our meat dust. We're also gonna put a teaspoon of this in our slow cooker. Now it's time to unwrap our beef, cut it up, and then add it back into our chili whilst listening to some sultry sounds.
So we are back and as you can appreciate, the weather has changed massively. So gazebo up, British summertime, what are you gonna do? It's August, it's supposed to be sunny, but we get torrential rain, British summertime. So there we have it. Um, the chili has now finished. So we smoked our boneless beef rib for six hours. When it reached 70 degrees Celsius, we wrapped it in some foil, continued to let it cook until it reached 90 degrees. 93 roughly when I pulled it out of the Traeger. Then we let it rest for an hour. It was super soft, probe tender. You may have heard this people say probe tender. Basically like if you get a, a, a knife or a, a temperature probe and you press it into the meat, little resistance, very little resistance, perfect. So then what I did is chopped it up into chunks, threw it into our chili. That was about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then we let it cook for another five hours. So seven o'clock the chili was ready and it did not disappoint. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. Look, let me show you. So that is our finished chili. There's some of the, the beef, look, that is literally falling apart look and there's some of our butter beans i talked about but that is rich that is gorgeous i mean look at that beef that is absolutely fork tender so yeah that is your beef rib chili con carne with butter beans um these are what I said are butter beans, so basically gabonzo beans, any other bean you can use really, like white beans, anything that takes your fancy, they just take on so much flavour when you put them into a chilli. So yeah. Amazing. So now we've still got a buttload of chilli left over in the slow cooker, so the next day I'm going to cook chilli dogs. What a perfect way to use leftover chilli. And chilli is one of these things where the longer you actually leave it, the better it tastes. So things like Chinese food, always better the next day. Chili con carne, always better the next day. What else? Lasagna, you know? It's one of them weird things. It just is always better the next day. So tomorrow we're gonna have chili dogs, brioche buns, hot dogs, chili, bit of cheese, lovely. So guys, thanks for joining me once again at Jack's Meat Shack and I will see you all again next week for some more cooking action. Let's get involved with some of this chili. Oh yeah. That's good shit. Alright, better go and put it put the rest of them. <laughs>